How are you doing, guys? This is Louis from Sam Waves in East Northport, New York. Uh, we just finished uh, installing a Negla pin code in this beautiful car, which happens to be a 2000, 2024 Lexus, Lexus GS550. A customer brought it to us to keep this vehicle secure, so what we are able to install a Negla pin code system, as well as a car jack, anti-car jacking, which is an additional feature that we actually offer as well. But we're just gonna demonstrate on what it actually does on this vehicle because every car actually works differently. We actually have a temporary code that we are actually using right now. So we're not basically, we're gonna show it because we're gonna change it, but actually we're not gonna show how, what kind of pen code we use. So what we're going to do, this car can actually start like it always does. Pretty much the car will start, remain running. If you're not there, basically what happens is, is some, if you start the car, and then you try shifting this vehicle without getting authorized, mean, meaning we do not put a pin code in it. Could be a combination of buttons only known to the, to the customer of this vehicle. If you do not enter your pin code and you attempt to drive away, this is what's gonna happen. The car will completely die. Pretty much it will turn off. You cannot restart this vehicle. We would actually put it back to park and we'll attempt to try to start the car because EGLA pretty much just shut down the vehicle car will not start because it got triggered so at this point what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to start this car once you trigger the system EGLA knows you did not put your pin code in it so what you need to do is turn your ignition on wait a few seconds turn your ignition on enter your code which happens to be we have a temporary code that we actually want to test right now one and then once we see confirmation which is going to be shown down there at this point we can just start this vehicle very very simple process how EGLA will keep this vehicle secure from anybody just boosting the signal of the key or really attacking the key or for that matter even if you have a working key you're not going anywhere unless you enter your pin code in it which i'm trying to find the key i have the key right here we're gonna put it right there so even if you have a working key you're not going to be able to drive this car the only way to drive this vehicle you need to know your pin code in it now what we're going to do we're going to shift and you will notice the car will remain running. Uh, the additional feature that we actually end up doing on this vehicle is anti-car jacking as well. We are actually gonna demo that. We're gonna open the door, pretending that somebody got us out of the car. Okay, we're gonna get out of the car. Car's running, the keys are right in it. So pretty much uh, what's gonna happen, the way anti-car jacking operates, somebody forces you out of the car for whatever reason even if the key is right in the vehicle. So somebody hops inside the car and let's put it to this way. You can actually drive away and we actually, we actually gonna test it. Uh, so we're gonna put our seatbelt on and we actually need to test it. So what we're going to do, we're gonna go in reverse here and we're gonna basically drive pretending that Louis uh, somehow stole this car, which uh, I didn't, but we're just testing carjacking mode. So we're gonna demonstrate what happens. So carjacking mode, if any attempt, uh, somebody takes this vehicle, the vehicle is not going to shut down while you are uh, right in front of anybody. So if somebody manages to get in it, even after you got authorized and gets into the vehicle with a car running, this is what's going to happen. So we'll just start driving away. So what EGLA does, EGLA monitors basically the speed of the vehicle. So once your car, if for whatever reason, gets taken away from you, what's going to happen once a car drives about 300 meters down the road, EGLA will start basically beeping the indicators to let you know, hey, you need to put your pin code in it. If you do not know the pin code, this car will stall. Pretty much the engine will shut down if you drive in, I believe when you reach under 10 miles per hour. Now right there is beeping to let us know we need to put the pin code in it. So again, it gets louder and louder. So we're not gonna put the pin code to demonstrate what happens in, uh, in this situation. And we're gonna go to that stop sign. We're gonna make a right turn. Notice the beep is getting louder and louder. We're reaching about 20, 18 miles an hour. We're gonna make a turn right here. All right. Oh, the car turned off on us. That's it. Igla carjacking mode is activated, so we cannot even we cannot even drive this vehicle because it's activated. We we cannot even. We're gonna put it back to park, and we're gonna put it back to park to show you that EGLA got activated. Car will not start because basically EGLA is blocking it right now at this point. So what you need to do is carjacking mode gets activated. 
The only way to start this vehicle, you need to get authorized. Even with a working key inside the vehicle right there, we cannot drive this car. So now we put it back to park, turn the ignition off. We need to turn the ignition back on and we need to get authorized. We're gonna put our code. So let's see. Once we get authorization, have two beeps right there. And only then can we start this vehicle and drive away. So that's pretty much really, really simple how Egla Pinko will protect this vehicle against anybody taking it by force. The car will shut down unless you put the PIN code in it. So it's very, very simple process. Uh, this happens to be a 2000, 2024 Lexus GS550 with an Egla PIN code system, just demonstrating how anti-car jacking operates on this vehicle.